Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and this is the Sony XAV-AX4000 Multimedia in-dash stereo with wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and a bunch of other features. First, let's talk about the touchscreen. It's a 6.95 inch screen uh, and it is an anti-glare screen. So it should look great even when the sun is shining in your windows. It's mounted to a single DIN chassis that is shallow in depth. That means it doesn't take up much space inside the radio cavity in your car, leaving plenty of room for all the wires that will, you'll, you'll need to hook it up, as well as any interfaces you'll need to make it work with your car. You're probably going to integrate your phone with this radio. It's what most people are doing these days, and you can do that wirelessly using either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I currently have my iPhone connected to this radio wirelessly. What you're seeing on the display now is CarPlay. CarPlay is pretty cool, so is Android Auto. They allow you to do Google Maps or Apple Maps, uh, texting via voice, make and receive phone calls. You can access all of your music streaming options, listen to audiobooks, check your calendar. It's a very safe and convenient way to integrate your phone into your driving experience, and it's even better when you can do it wirelessly. If you want to leave your phone in your pocket, you can. You do not have to plug the phone into this radio to do that. In addition to integrating your phone with this radio, you can also listen to satellite radio uh, using an external tuner. The uh, Sirius XM tuner plugs into the back of this radio. You put the antenna on the roof and you can subscribe and listen to Sirius XM. You can listen to local radio, of course. It also has Bluetooth if you just wanna go simple. Uh, in fact, it will even do LDAC over Bluetooth, which is a higher quality, handles higher bitrate music files so that you can do high res music from a compatible phone into this radio wirelessly over Bluetooth. And if you're into high res music files, maybe you have some downloaded, you can put them on a USB memory stick. This radio can play up to 24 bit, 384 kilohertz FLAC files off of the USB memory stick. If you're really into good quality sound, you have plenty of tweakability in this radio. It has a built-in DSP or digital signal processor. In that DSP and in those sound controls, you have a 14-band EQ, so you can really fine-tune the sound for your music and for your car. It has a three-band crossover, so you can set low and high-pass crossovers for your front speakers, your back speakers, and your subwoofer. It even has time alignment so that you can make sure all of the sounds from your speakers are arriving at just the right time for you in the driver's seat. So you can really tailor this sound to your needs. The AX4000, of course, has a built-in amplifier you can use to power your speakers. If you want to use a separate amplifier, this radio does have five-channel, two-volt, gold-plated preamp outputs. You can also customize the look and feel of this radio. You have multiple colors to choose from as your background color. You can even upload your own JPEG to use as the background for the home screen on this radio. The buttons along the bottom are also nice. You can even customize the function of the center button to do what you want it to do. It also has a backup camera input so that you can add an aftermarket backup camera to this radio. And it's compatible with the iDatalink Maestro interface. iDatalink Maestro is a special interface that makes it possible to replace the radio in many modern cars that have a complex computer system that controls many of the car's functions. It's the smoothest way to integrate a new radio with many newer cars, and the Sony is ready to go. So if you have any questions about this Sony radio or what might fit your car or how you can get wireless CarPlay and Android Auto going in your vehicle, get in touch with us. Go to crutchfield.com contact. You can talk live with our advisors either over the phone or you can chat with them online, whatever works for you. You can also post your question right here on this YouTube video. We do look at those and we will respond accordingly. And as long as you're here on YouTube, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn notifications on so when we put out a new video, you'll know about it. Thanks for watching.